Hospitals across India are seeing an uptick in patients with cough, cold and fever. But it is not viral or even COVID. It is a flu, PN2, influenza flu. The symptoms include cough, nausea, fever. While the fever goes away in 3 to 4 days, the cough persists for nearly 3 weeks. 46-year-old Sushil Manglani had to be admitted to Gangaram Hospital as his oxygen levels dropped upon getting tested. He found out it was the H3N2 influenza flu. Start to was a normal cold and cough. Se, uske do tin din baad mere ko high fever aane laga aur body ache hone laga aur uske ek do din baad mere oxygen drop hoti thi aur khansi bhi jo hai wo bahut zyada badhti thi. 6-7 din main ghar pe bimar raha aur uske baad mujhe oxygen ki support nahi. Doctors say that the cases of the H3N2 influenza is prevalent in the age group of 15 to 50 years. Some patients with asthma or respiratory issues are severely affected and are taking more time to recover. Since we are getting cases now also, that's the time we should be a little more uh, vigilant, more uh, t taking more precautions, wearing masks, flu vaccinations should be taken care of. Looking at the rise in cases, the Indian Medical Association has issued an advisory urging medical practitioners to avoid prescribing antibiotics. The IMA advisory states patients to be given symptomatic treatment. There is no need to prescribe antibiotics. Unnecessary antibiotic prescription can lead to resistance. Air pollution is a key precipitating factor leading to respiratory infection. And self-control and regulation needs to be maintained. Covid cases might have gone down but the new H3N2 influenza flu is posing a huge challenge. And the precautionary mantra is the same, wear your mask and keep social distance. With Sri Rupa Goswami Usama Shah for NDTV.